All rise, he's Mark Skoll Jr. And he's Jamal Spencer. Sports Court is in session. Welcome to another edition of Sports Court. The Lions have been rolling. Things are looking great, so we gotta go back to that trade a couple of years ago and find out who won the trade for Matthew Stafford, the Lions or the Rams. This may shock you, Mark doesn't really like Matthew Stafford. He's all <laughs> so he, he thinks that, oh, the, you know, the Lions won that trade. They got Jared Goff. The Rams won the Super Bowl. That, that, that's it. That's the end of the argument. The Los Angeles Rams, led by Matthew Stafford, who in the postseason had nine touchdowns to just three interceptions. I think he almost threw for 1,000 yards in the postseason. Led the Rams to three postseason wins, won the Super Bowl. The Los Angeles Rams won the trade. Point blank period. Doesn't matter how bad they are this year. Yes, Matt Stafford did win the Super Bowl, but he wouldn't have won the Super Bowl in Detroit, so it was a great trade for the Lions. You get a lot of picks, and you look at how the Lions are shaping up for the future, and you're not telling me the future is bright with them winning five of their last six games and now uh, in the driver's seat to possibly get into the playoffs. And on top of that, having two first-round picks this year and two second-round picks this year, you're telling me that you wouldn't ha rather have that future that's going to be so bright in Detroit. The Lions have won one playoff game since 1991. They're always looking forward to the future. It's always about next year. All the Lions do is talk about the future. In the here and now, when it comes to winning football games, the Rams did it better than anyone. And a big reason for that was the play of their quarterback, Matthew Stafford. It's no coincidence that Cooper Cup had the best year of his life won the wide receiver triple, triple crown because he had number nine throwing him the football. I'm all for the future. The Lions do have a bright future. The GM, Brad Holmes, has nailed some really important draft picks. They're just getting Jamison Williams onto the field. He was that second first round pick that they got. But ultimately, the Rams got exactly what they were looking for, which was a immediate contender who won the Super Bowl. The Lions are still playing the what if game. So that's a no brainer to me. Well, Matt Stafford, I know that you made the point that they won three playoff games last year. They won the Super Bowl, but when you look at it, he wasn't even that good in the playoffs. And I don't care what you say because he was not good. He got lucky. A 49ers linebacker dropped an easy interception in the NFC Championship. That would have sent the 49ers to the Super Bowl if he had didn't have butterfingers. Matt Stafford didn't even win the Super Bowl MVP. Cooper Cup did, and you could say that Aaron Donald was better than him too. If he was that good, he would, have, he would have won Super Bowl MVP. If Jared Goff was on that team last year, they win the Super Bowl. That's point blank. If, 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 if the Lions don't get a, a bad call against the Cowboys in the playoff, Matt Stafford already has a win. We can do if all day, but I'll tell you what, your Matthew Stafford hate is showing. We're gonna let the people decide. They agree with me, I guarantee it. Actually, no, they probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's your verdict? Go to Facebook and tell us what you think. Next week, we'll have a late Christmas present for you, a look back at some of the biggest fumbles and errors that we've made in the past year. Until next time, Sports Court is adjourned.